Okay, so imagine that you're working in a React app and you get an error on say line number 42. Now the browser only understands JavaScript, but if you take a look at the console, you'll see that it actually gives you the location inside the TSX or the JSX file. How is browser aware of these file types? It gives you an error with the exact location, but browser only understands JavaScript. So how is it doing that? So this is where source maps come in. When you run a bundler like Veed or Webpack, your code goes through a build step. All that TypeScript, JSX, modern syntax gets compiled down to plain JavaScript that the browser actually runs. Now the problem is, once it's transformed, the line numbers don't match anymore. So line number 42 in your TSX file might end up as line number 5 in some giant bundle JS file. So if the browser just threw an error at line number 5, you won't be able to debug it because in your code, in your TSX file, the error was on line number 42. If you're an experienced developer, I would say it's still possible to debug it, but it gets much more difficult. So source maps solve this problem by acting like a translation layer. They are basically JSON files that say, hey, this line and column in the compiled JS actually comes from this line and column in the original TSX file. So when the browser hits an error, it looks at the source map, rewinds the tape, and shows you the exact spot in your original code. So next time you see an error pointing to the exact line in your TSX file, remember that the browser isn't really that smart. It's just following the content from the source map file that your bundler created. If you want to achieve the same thing in your React app, what you can do is go to your weed.config.ts file and inside the build config, you need to add the source map property and set it to true. So now when you run npm run build, you'll see the actual JS bundle and along with it, you'll also see the source map file generated. But even after all of this, I'm sure you still have one question in your mind. How is the dev server doing it? There's no map file generated for it. How is it that in local, we get the exact same error location? So the idea here is still the same, but there's a slight tweak. Instead of creating a separate file, Beat here is going to save the source map in memory and stream it straight to the browser. So there's no new file created, but internally it pretty much does the same thing. The source map is generated on the fly, served over HTTP and DevTools uses it to backtrack errors to your original file. So if I make a typo for this count variable and I go to the browser, when I click on the button, you'll see the exact error location. But if I disable the source maps in DevTools, this is what your original bundle looks like. Obviously, it's going to be very difficult to debug through your application if this is what is in front of you. But if it's the exact same file that you have on your code editor, then it becomes a lot more easier.